We got chicken here, or you can get some turkey up here. Just in time for Thanksgiving, the Holy Temple Evangelistic Center in Skyway, a region near Renton, was the site of a turkey giveaway in an area that traditionally has been underserved. This first annual turkey giveaway was led by Gardner Global CEO Jebediah Gardner, who bought the property with plans to develop it. He says the new building will include affordable housing, which is lacking in this region. We just want to give back to the community. It's the holidays, and this is a community that, that's a little bit underserved, and so we want to serve. Gardner says he partnered with a nonprofit PUSH, an organization that focuses on diversity, equity, and inclusion training, the emergency feeding program, and other groups to bring turkeys to the more than 200 people who showed up. Our goal is to continue the partnership, working with Jebediah, providing food to those that are going to be in the lower income properties, and help support the community, making sure that everybody's fed. With high inflation that has seen prices rise quickly over the past year, the event couldn't have come at a better time. Whether it's inflation or not, our community is always the bottom of the barrel. Whether it's a great economy or it's a, a, a struggling economy, we want to make sure that we're reaching our people. So, you know, really it's not about a special moment. It's about just holistically we need to just get in the process of giving back and get in, this, get in the practice of giving back. So regardless of what the, what the, what the market's doing, we're going we're gonna to do our best to serve. I think we're hearing it by the numbers. You know, there's, there's nothing being vocalized about it, but, you know, the number of people that have started accessing food from our location has increased probably tenfold. So that's the response. You know, you, you, you see it. You don't necessarily hear it. You see it. Dr. Timmy Foster works with Gardner Global and is also a grant manager with PUSH. She says she grew up in the area and is fortunate to come back to support the community. People who are able to provide that added support and even their added time, um, is just a, it's really a benefit to humanity. I mean, I think the thing that we like to continue to emphasize is about like what community looks like, and this is a form of what community looks like, like providing resources, gathering resources, making resources available for people at a centralized location where they can go to. Gardner says the idea stemmed from a conversation he had with former basketball player Trey Simmons after the two exchanged texts. We just put our brains together. You know, we, I wanted to do a turkey giveaway. He wanted to do a turkey giveaway, so we just we just collabed on it. And so um, they got three acres. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Foster said the event was successful, especially in an area that is so special for her. It's just been incredible, incredible to see folks who come out. Skyway um, is a, a part of unincorporated Seattle. Um, it's a place that has been um, kept sacred, if you will, um, for a lot of communities from racially diverse backgrounds. Um, and there's just a richness of this area in terms of richness and historic um, nature of it. James Williams, who works with PUSH, says it was important to hold a giveaway at the side of a church. Well, you know, the church is actually the soul of the community, number one. Uh, so for people to be able to come to a church and get the things that they need and hopefully return to the church and be involved in the church is a big thing for the neighborhood. Gardner says the new housing development he plans to build will have at least 100 affordable housing units and will include ample community space so the turkey giveaways can continue on every year.